So we recently saw um, Peterson, uh, for instance, become investigated by the, the College of Ontario. Um, Correct. What were your thoughts when you saw this all break in originally? Oh, I signed a letter uh, with John Haidt and uh, Harris and uh, uh, many of the usual suspects defending uh, Peterson. I think that, that letter was the, uh, started by Schellenberger. Um, um, my thoughts were that this is a great example of organizational institutional corruption. But my, my other thoughts were, it, it, so, okay, so let, let's take a step back from this. So if you go, in fact, you, you can do this right now on, on your computer. We can do this live. If you go to scholar.google.com, what, what, would you mind doing that for me? I can certainly try. Okay, are you there? I'm there. Okay, now type in Jordan Peterson, please. Citations, 19,665. Yeah, yeah. H, H, H index, 58. Yeah. I, 10 index, 107. That, that, the H index of 58 is extraordinarily high. Now, so, so that's, this is basically, <clears throat> excuse me, a measure. And if you look at his, his articles, like cited by the year, 2,195, 1,189, 987, right. yeah. 791. Now, okay, the, so, so the reason that I'm mentioning that is that it, it tells you something. It doesn't tell you everything, right? Yeah. So in the sciences, the hard sciences, those H indices tend to be higher. In my discipline of philosophy, they tend to be much, much lower. The number of people who cite, the you know, the, the journals don't have that much traction, so they tend to have... have, have um, 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 it tends to, to, to tends to be far more difficult to if you if you put in for example you don't don't do this now but like Dan Dennett Daniel Dennett is the highest I think in the world um, um, H index okay so the reason I'm mentioning this at all is because if you look at Jordan Peterson's H index and then you compare it to the College of Ontario's you know those those charlatans. It's off the chart. There is no comparison whatsoever. And that's not even public persona, book sales, you know, teaching evaluate. I mean, it's, that has none of it. So one of the things you see over and over again is you see groups of under-accomplished, disaffected malcontents, and they go after people who are accomplished. But you see, okay, so this is very interesting. So they can go after them there, like trying to take away Peterson's license because they have a mechanism, but they can't go after them on the mat, right? Do you get the connection? They can't go after them in jujitsu because it's real mm -hmm. and, and they're playing in make-believe land. So in make-believe land, it's really easy to use the mechanisms of the institution to take down your ideological enemies, but that doesn't, you can't, that doesn't work in anything that's real. It doesn't, it won't work in boxing. It won't work in, you know, anything that has corrective mechanisms. 